Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room, and uh, I have the War Room with me to take a look at the Avenging Angels faction by Gunfighter's Ball and Knuckle, Dun Knuckle Duster's Miniatures. Right. So this is a new faction that came out. Uh, Forrest has designed. Uh, of course, he's a modeler at heart uh, and a sculptor at heart. Um, and uh, we called these the Avenging Angels because they're not from one group or one movie or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to let you guys kind of sort of try to guess on a couple of them. Uh, but there's multiple movies that people spread, up, spread, uh, spread around from. Um, like... Uh, I guess I can give you one example. One of these in here is Django Unchained. So, <laughs> cool. since one of them is Django. So, cool. and they're from various other movies, uh, westerns. So, uh, which is, I'm really excited about. So, you get in a standard pack. This is Avenging Angels. Uh, on the back, it tells you each one of the names. So, we got uh, Liver Eating Johnson. We have uh, Deidre, Buzzard Cohorn, Johnny <laughs> Will, and Danny. And Evans. So, uh, with those names, you probably can figure out for the most part uh, who's what. Um, but uh, we're going to open this up here. And uh, I've had these for probably about three or four days, and I've just been super excited about them. So, oh, there they go, guys. Wow, look at that. They're tightly packed. So, you get the standard slotted bases, which I do enjoy. And, um,. It, rather than trying to get these to focus, I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, renders uh, that were sent to me, the pictures of what they look like, um, the 3D renders that uh, he sculpted. This one here is uh, Buzzard Cohorn. And you guys, after seeing this one, you should be able to guess who exactly that might be and what, from what Western. Um, but that's the model I'm holding in my hands right now. Ah, there you go. Uh, who do you think that is? That's, that's uh, the Duke right there. That's Rooster. Yeah, Rooster Cogburn. <laughs> what uh, what movie is he from there? Rooster, Rooster Cogburn. Cogburn. <laughs> Buzzard Cohorn? Or Codhorn? Codhorn? Codhorn is the name of the model. Um, somebody guessed Somebody guessed True Grit. Jeff Bridges. No. Somebody guessed that uh, for True Grit. So, uh, and, and they're wrong. Yeah, well, hey. Jeff Bridges. <laughs> uh, Jeff Bridges. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, uh, I lost it. There it is. Okay. This guy right here this is my next one. Who in the world do you think this it's, could be? It's uh, Outlaw Josie Wales right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that's Outlaw Josie Wales. Yeah, yeah, what, what's his Johnny name Welsh. on the package? Johnny Welsh. Yeah. Yeah. Outlaw Josie Wales. And uh, that's the model that goes along with it. And you're seeing, like I said, you can see an up close, all that detail, except for the gun being bent, which I can fix that. Uh, uh, that allows him to shoot around corners. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What you're looking at is exactly what you're going, what you're getting uh, in the model itself. Very cool. So, all right. That's our next one. And who in the world do you think hooting tooting is that? What's his uh, what's his uh, the character name on the uh, package? <laughs> That's Liver Eating Johnson. Liver Eating Johnson. Uh, you got me on that one. Liver Eating Johnson, Bob. Jeremiah Johnson. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Johnson? Johnson. There you go. Jeremiah Johnson, huh? <laughs> uh, that one was John Wayne and the Searchers. Uh. Let's see. What's great? Movie. Liver Eating Johnson, a mountain man from history. So, and what you see is exactly what the model is. You can see right there. 
Is that a, a buffalo horn he's holding in his uh, left hand? Yes, sir. All right, cool. It's a powder horn. horn. It's a powder horn. <laughs> the hell does he need a powder horn for? He's got a friggin' knife, not a pistol. Pistol's tucked in his belt behind his back, so you can't see it. John uh, Wayne's character in The Circuit was Ethan. But Rooster Cogburn is uh, exactly right, by the way. Uh, I forgot who this one is, but I believe I believe I got it. I got it right when uh, I say I, I think it's like Ellen or Deirdre are from the Quick and the Dead. Oh. Yeah, I can't remember her name, but that's her. Oh, yeah. It's like her from the Quick and the Dead. I think maybe I don't know. I think so. Well, let me uh, well, research here. It's, it's uh, her name uh, for here is Deidre, Deirdre, D I E D R E. It's Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone. <laughs> it looks Jeff, like her. Jeff of that said that. Come on. But that's uh, what you're seeing there is exactly, I mean, to the T, perfect uh, on the model itself. All right. Do you guys want to see Django? Uh, does he well, sure. glasses? Do what? Does he got sunglasses? No, I don't think it's Django, but um, no. Yeah. Um, but if it it's uh, Sharon Stone, if it's, if it's uh, Sharon from, or if it's Ellen from Quick and the Dead, uh, or if it's Sharon Stone playing the character from Quick and the Dead, the character's name is Ellen. Ellen, that's it. Yeah, that's what I think it is. That's Django. Yep. Yeah. It is. He just doesn't have his uh, silly ass sunglasses on. Those badass sunglasses, you mean? You, you mean the ones that could not have uh, existed still, back it, then? It doesn't matter. It's still cool. It's Come anachronistically on. improper. Anachronistically improper. <laughs> Why you think they didn't have sunglasses back in those days? <laughs> Not little round uh, John Lennon glasses they didn't. That's exactly what they had. You better Google that, sir. You'll see. They they, they would have worn glasses like that back then. Yeah, regular glasses. Nope. They would have worn sunglasses glasses. like that, too. Look it up. Trust me on this. Well, this one here, this last one, I'm kind of stumped. I'm not sure who uh, who it is. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's check it out. Oh, that's it's John Wayne. John oh, that is John Wayne. Wayne. Uh, what the hell? hell? Rio Bravo or something. The Searchers. The, oh, Ethan. Any, it's any damn John Wayne movie. I mean, Ethan. Ethan Edwards. That's his name in The Searchers, Ethan. Yeah. Let me see The Searchers. That's right, because he's got the Winchester that he flips. And all that detail you're seeing in the face you're, is is on this on this model for sure. Pretty yeah, nice. Ethan Edwards is a character is John Wayne's character. Awesome. What, what's his name on the package? Uh, Evans. They just call him Evans. Pretty nice detail. So yeah, that's it's. I mean, what you're seeing, I'm literally seeing on the model itself, for sure. Yeah, even Forrest does a really Winchester. good job of uh, even down to the uh, damn spurs. He's got spurs. Electronic uh, sculpting. The dude was a great sculptor before that. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, these are awesome. These are really nice. So that's all of them. That's the Avenging Angels. There's, there is six of them. And as you can tell, the reason why they're the Avenging Angels is based on what they did in the movies, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of guess that. But his uh, standard slot bases. So what do you guys think? Pretty nice. Those look sharp. I really like them. Are these uh, not, not they available now? Are they? they... Uh, as far as I know, they are. Yep. He has released them. Very cool. 
Um, I, I I'm, 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 I'm going now. He's, wor he's working on the Texas Rangers right now. Hello. Yes. So he is putting out the Texas Rangers. Um, he had the second one posted up today uh, in Gunfighter's Ball or his Knuckle Duster miniatures uh, page. Go like it. It's awesome. <clears throat> Speaking of which, um, Gunfighter Royale mm -hmm. is uh, shaping up nice. Yes, it is. It's looking very, very nice. I even have a little bit of a tease I've got in my hands maybe some characters that have been talked about that have not been uh, that are being released with the game. So there you go. Shh, don't tell anybody. I even have Shh. rules. <laughs> yeah, we need to get back together and uh, play that again. Oh, we're doing it soon. We, we need to figure out a time when McMurray's off. Yes, we do. So what do you think, Jeffifa? They look nice, man. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Awesome. I mean, the details that you're seeing in the miniatures laying on the on the on the table there are exactly these renders right here. All right, let's see here. Twenty one fifty for six miniatures. That's no. not too shabby. That's not bad. That's a good Especially price. Especially detail. Yeah, they all got good. they all got they all got spurs. Unlike those other companies who don't put spurs on their miniatures. <laughs> He put spurs on them all. He is an attention to detail kind of. That's basically three hundred and sixty a model. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a good um, that, that's and they're metal. They're white metal. Um, which is, you know, I'm just gonna say it. It's a shit ton better than forty dollars for one plastic model from you know that other place. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Games Workshop. <clears throat> anyway. I like them. Um, Gun Barrel says not too shabby. Yeah, not too shabby at all. I I, I dig them. I, everything yeah. uh, Forrest does, though, is just amazingly great. Rhinestone shades and cheap sunglasses? Yeah. Okay. I want I want James West and uh, Artemis Gordon. That would be great. Magnificent from Wild Seven. Wild West. <laughs> the original Wild Wild West, not the Magnificent that. Seven. I think he's got a yeah. Magnificent Seven. He does. Original? He does. I have I have the Magnificent Seven over here. Haven't done the video for him yet, but he, I think he calls him something different than the Magnificent Seven. Yeah. Uh, but he does have them. Uh, we also, I do have so many knuckle dusters sitting over here. Uh, I got Mongo. You want to see Mongo? Yes. <laughs> There's Mongo. Nice. <laughs> Candy Graham for Mongo. Candy Graham for Mongo. You know, Mongo like beans. Mongo like candy. <laughs> I have lots and lots of knuckle dusters sitting over here. Uh, I got the Jesse James gang. I got the Pinkertons. I mean, you name it, they're over here. Um, I got uh, the ladies of the night and the older ladies of the night with the holding derringers. See? You know, soil doves. <laughs> That's right, GB. Yule Brenner, baby, playing Chris. Yep. <laughs> I forgot his name, but I even got guys with peg legs. Hey, it's Jeffifa in a miniature. Holy smokes, look at that. That's not my leg, though. <laughs> I even got Huckleberry. Yeah, you do. Get out of here. <laughs> See that? That's That would be, uh, what's his name? Uh, Doc Val Holiday. Val Doc Holiday. Doc Holiday. Which is amazing. Uh, I'm afraid to paint that one because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it justice. Uh, but you got some dude, guys like Jesse James. Jesse you, James. You, you just got you just got to dive in like I did with my Boba Fett. I know. Just got to make it happen, brother. And, and I will. And I've I've got thousands. So uh, we're going to have to play some westerns here pretty soon. Yeah, um, we are. We are going to play some Gunfighters Ball. We, uh, I had a bit of practice with it. It's actually um, just as easy as Fistful of Lead to pick up and learn and stuff cool. like that. Uh, they're both fun. Um, I, I really can't decide which one I like best because I like both because they're both Western and that's what I like is Western. So, but uh, <laughs> um, as soon as I get my, these counter blasts finished and, and uh, I'm going to get a few more buildings done for the wet, for the uh, Rockyville, the town and uh, you know, get some of these guys on bases and paint it up and stuff like that. We'll have a good time. So overall, um, 
they're gorgeous as usual. They're all uh, his stuff is just some of the best best detailed miniatures I think I've ever seen. Um, yeah, they are. Uh, out of any any sculpting, I mean, he you can definitely tell there is a love that he puts in the miniatures. Um, definitely, it shows. Um, Especially we we need, we need to have him back on the show soon, and we will. And he we he will he's been really busy with gunfight rail. So. Oh, I know, I know. Um, but uh, he was kind yeah. enough. Uh, to send me these to show off to everybody. Um, they're gorgeous. Uh, I really recommend them um, if you're really into your Westerns. I mean, uh, here's another, uh, just another example. If you look at the, if you look at the back of this guy's vest, it, it literally, his, his handkerchief comes down off the back or his petticoat or his coat comes down off the back and there's like a little belt and the detail, the weapon and the shirt and just the tie off from his bandana around his face. It's just like all every little detail is in there. Well, you know, a lot of sculpts, it will just disappear into their shoulder line, you know? Yeah. I mean, he but, just. But he takes the time to. Oh, he does it all. <laughs> even the even the sash over uh, Django's, um, or the scarf around his neck. Yeah. It goes all the way around his back and around his neck. Uh, even in the, the the guns, as small as they are, you can still see, you know, the revolver uh, and, and the uh, I don't even know what you call it, but the revolver, the the, the chamber chamber of the bullet where the bullets go. There. Yeah, um, I mean, they're just awesome, and you can tell just by me showing you the pictures of them, you can tell where they're from. You know, yeah, they really have different names. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Um. There you go. I said I was having trouble streaming on Twitch. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> as I was showing you, this is the Avenging Angels. We have. Uh. Oh shoot! I lost his name. Not um, Rooster Cogburn. Yeah, Rooster Cogburn. Not Josie Wales. <laughs> that would be Jeremiah oh, Johnson. Jeremiah Johnson. Or Liver Eaton Johnson. There you go. And not John Way. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah, oh yeah. Ethan Edwards. Not Django. And possibly not Nellie. If you look at the face, look at the face. It almost looks like, it looks just like her. I mean, yeah, these are incredible. I mean, you you look at that, you can tell that that is supposed to be John Wayne. Oh my gosh! Wow. Well, they're gorgeous, folks. Go check them out. They're Avenging Angels from Knuckle Duster Miniatures for the game Gunfighters Ball or any of your cowboy needs. Um, go check them out. Forrest worked really hard on them. They're really awesome. And thanks for being with us, guys. Last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and we'll catch ta -ta. you in our next live video.